Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Nashville, Tennessee, and I am alongside Highway 65 here, standing in front of one of the most controversial statues in all of the south. We have a statue of Nathaniel Bedford Forrest, the first Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. So why is there a statue to this evil man here right along the busy freeway? Well, it's right over there is private property and a racist white supremacist man decided to place it here alongside the highway. Now the city hates this thing. The city of Nashville has done everything to try to get this removed, but of course the free speech reigns and this man is able to keep his racist statue. Someone's honking at me. I hope they don't think that I'm here appreciating this racist statue. But anyways, where was I? So, free speech. The man is able to keep his statue here. In the last couple years, the city of Nashville actually voted to plant trees to block this so people along the freeway won't have to see it. But then the, Tennessee, the state of Tennessee stated that that was illegal, that they were not allowed to plant trees for the sole purpose of blocking private property. So here it sits. People have tried to shoot this thing. There's bullet holes in it. Apparently someone tried to pull it down using the railroad track and hooked a train car to it and tried to pull it down. People don't like it. Oh, of course, racists like it. Racist people like it. But one thing about this, in addition to being incredibly racist, it's also incredibly ugly. Let's, let's take a closer look. Look at his weird, ugly face. The colors are weird. The horse is weird. Nathaniel. Bedford Forest. There's flags of all the southern states. Man, what an ugly freaking statue. And this thing is 25 feet tall. I don't know if you can tell that. So who would sculpt such a hideous monstrosity? This is actually was sculpted and created by Jack Kershaw, who was the attorney of James Earl Ray, the man that murdered Martin Luther King Jr. So this is just brimming with racism. Carved by a white supremacist lawyer that defended JF, not, uh, MLK's assassin. I'm sorry that it's so racist I'm getting tongue-tied. But yeah, sad, ugly, racist statue. So ugly and so racist so I appreciate you guys watching please like subscribe share all that good stuff check out my website www.thecarpetbagger.org and if you'd like to donate to some money on patreon I'd be happy to send you postcards from my road trips appreciate it don't like this guy <laughs>